Some say that music is the universal language. I don't know what that means, but some people say it. Anyway, ear training is the skill of identifying the elements of music. Intervals, chords, chord progressions, harmony, form, melody, instrumentation, timbre, etc. by hearing alone. No sheet music to lean on or ask for advice. How much information can you extract from music just by hearing it? If you want to be able to learn songs by ear, this is the skill that's going to get you there. Ear training is also called oral skills, but when I hear oral skills, I think of something much more interesting than music. Anyway, I can make an analogy to a cake. A cake is created by a baker and presented to a consumer, and it's a final product with no obvious indications to the precise method with which it was made. Obvious, I mean, to the unskilled layman. The average diner, when presented with a cake, would have no trouble eating the cake and forming an opinion on its flavor, texture, and presentation, and so on. The the average diner would have no problem forming a complete review regarding the cake, having no knowledge of how it was made or of even baking in general. But now, let's enter the unaverage customer. Now let's say a veteran baker sits down at the table to try the cake. This is a skilled individual who has made countless cakes of his own. Now he can surely eat the cake and judge its basic characteristics just the same as the average Joe. But the veteran baker has an acuity that the average man does not. The veteran baker can take a bite of the cake or simply look at it and instantly become aware of what ingredients were used and the manner in which it was cooked, or at least have an educated hunch. This kind of knowledge can be achieved without looking at a cookbook recipe, asking the cake's creator, or any other outside reference. All that information was taken directly and solely from the finished product via the skilled observer's perception. And in our case, that finished product is music that we hear. And as you train your ear to extract more and more data from music, playing music by ear won't be such a difficult thing. Learning new songs will primarily be an exercise not of skill, but of time. And now for some fun. Let's hear a short example of music and analyze it with gradually increasing levels of resolution. We'll start with the big picture and then work down to the smaller details. Let's call this level one. It's a scary song introducing a big creepy guy in a mask. Well, that's how almost everyone interprets this music, and rightfully so. We are simply eating the cake and commenting on it. But now let's listen back and try to go for some more details than that. Right, let's call this level two and let's get some more information about what instruments we're hearing. In the beginning, uh, it's only pipe organ, pipe organ solo, no other instruments but pipe organ. That's easy enough. But later on, more instruments come in. We have drum set, we have electric guitar, pipe organ is still there, but in the background. Uh, maybe bass, maybe no bass, maybe the pipe organ is bass, but we also get an inkling about what style of music this is because when the drums come in, it definitely begins a rock beat. So we at least have some form of rock music in here. Let's try again. Aha, level three. So we know sort of what instruments are in play here, but what are they playing? What notes are they playing? I know that the organ in the beginning is playing four chords, a progression of four chords in a row. But what kind of chords are they? I don't know what quality the chords are, but I know they're triads. Triads, three note chords where the notes are a third apart. I know they're triads, but I don't know what kind they are. Let's listen back, maybe I'll figure it out. We've made it to level four. I know what a minor chord sounds like when I hear one, and the first three organ chords 
are definitely minor triads. They're minor chords. And the fourth one is a major chord. And the last two organ chords are a one, six, four to five motion. Because I know what that sounds like. The bass stays the same. The other two notes do the other thing. And then when the rock beat comes in, when the electric guitar and the drums come in, that's the one of the five before it. So I can hear there's a dominant tonic relationship. There's a five to one motion going on here because I know what that sounds like. If you don't know what that means, you'll learn it. It's important to learn, don't worry about it. But I can hear that going on here. Let's try one more time, try to get even more details. Level five, caray, I went to the piano and I figured out those chords in the beginning. It's B flat minor, then G flat minor, then D flat minor over A flat bass, then an A flat major, and then when the drums and guitar come in, it's D flat minor. Just like I thought before, it was a one, six, four to five to one in D flat minor. Mamma mia, it's so beautiful. Do you understand the idea? As you advance and as your ear grows, you'll be able to glean more and more important information just by hearing. And now, here's a small digression. Notice how, did you notice how, note names didn't come in until the very end. The exact pitches of that chord progression were not important for most of the analysis. That five to one was A flat to D flat minor, but the exact pitches were not the important part. Recognizing that it was a five to one was the important part. Recognizing that the first three chords were minor triads is much more important than just knowing that they were B flat, G flat, and D flat minor. So I don't want to see any comments whining or moaning about perfect pitch or relative pitch or pitch perfect or any of that stuff because it's irrelevant. That stuff is inconsequential to what I'm talking about here. Some folks are born with perfect pitch and some folks aren't. It is much less of a superpower or X-man mutation than people seem to make it. Ear training is audio literacy. Developing your hearing skills to identify musical patterns will change the way you experience music. You'll find that music will have so much more depth than you previously thought. You can fall back into familiar tunes and learn brand new things if you have a more expansive and refined listening comprehension. And I assure you, it will be neither easy nor quick. This is something that I've worked on for many years and continue to develop all the time. But if music is your business like it is mine, the effort will be well worth it. This is just the beginning of my videos on this subject, where I hope to guide you on the path to more fruitful listening. Thank you for watching.